Hi guys, it's me, Lolita Simply Lot. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. To all my mothers out there, uh, whether you are a two-legged animal mother or a four-legged animal mother, uh, a stepmother, just anything you're mothering. If you're a plant mother, happy Mother's Day to you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed mine. I had my first ever girl trip, me and a friend named Renee. Hi, Renee, if you're watching. We took a trip to Murder Beach, and that was my first trip. No kids, no husband, none of that. Speaking of husband, my divorce is finalized. I got the paperwork last Thursday, Friday, so that is behind me, y'all. I got to keep my house because that was so important to me. Um, I don't want to get too deep into that because that wouldn't. that's not the point of this video, but y'all, I bought this house we were together. We were not married when I purchased the house, but I purchased the house. I'm married. I purchased it by myself. No money input from him, but he had the audacity to be asking for some equity out of my house. And it was so important to me as much as I could that I keep my house. I just, I keep my house. Okay. So I kept my house. It's final. It's behind us. We're moving forward. Let's move on. So, happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed mine. If I can, I will insert some pictures. Um, because I've, I have pictures on my iPhone, but not on my iPad. And sometimes they don't sync. But if I can, I will insert some pictures. To the purpose of this video. Sephora had that VIB sale last month. I think it was, yeah, it was last month. I took advantage of that sale and purchased some items. So I wanted to show you guys what I ordered, but I also wanted to show you guys this app that my daughter turned me on to. It is called Yuka. Um, let me see. Let me go back and see if I can get you guys to see it. It's probably not. It's this little app right here. Uh, and it is Yuka, Y-U-K-A. What this app does is if you scan your, your little Scantron or whatever that is, your little UPC, if you scan that, this app will tell you the toxicity, the toxicity level of your product whatever you're using okay so i have one two three but these are the same so two three four five six seven things in my uh, box here that i am going to scan with you guys and we are going to check and see how toxic they are okay uh so the first one that i have i've never used this before um i'm the older i get the more i am getting into skincare and so i've been purchasing a lot of different serums um a lot of different face washes um i think i am pretty much narrowed down what i like but i wanted to try this uh i think i got this recommendation from casey Aaliyah on here k-a-i-c-e-l i mean a-l-e-a -E -A, i think that's how you uh spell her name but casey Aaliyah, you know she's big on skincare and a lot of her stuff be so freaking expensive but um i kind of watch her videos and kind of pick and choose what i want to try um, and also it depends on whether or not her video is a sponsored video or not because I don't trust them sponsored videos and um, Probably needless to say, but let me put it out there that this video is definitely not sponsored. Okay, <laughs> so But this one is CEO glow by Sunday Riley It's a serum it Says it has vitamin C turmeric and it's a face oil I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it's going to leave me oily. I do think I remember her saying that it soaks into the skin. Um, I'll keep you guys updated and uh, let you know whether or not um, it leaves me oily. I do have uh, oily prone skin, uh, but I do still moisturize my face. I moisturize my face with Cetaphil, and then I purchased 
a tinted moisturizer by dermatology uh i really love that so and that has spf in it so i use my cetaphil at night and i use the dermatology during the day because it has that spf in it okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and scan it and we're gonna see i can't remember how much it costs i have my invoice right here they did not put the price on here I will list the prices down below, okay? I wish I would have thought beforehand to look back through it to get the prices, but I didn't, but I'll list the prices down below, okay? If anyone is really, really interested. So I just pressed on my app. When you press on it, let me see if I can go back. So no, you actually have, well, when you first press on it, you have to press uh, scan item. And so once you press scan item, that pops up and then so I'm just going to take the face oil. I'm going to scan it and it rates ooh, it rates a 93 out of 100, which it says excellent. So that's good to know. Let me see if it says anything else. Um yeah, it does. Y'all, I got my light like right here, and I'm, if I change it, it's probably gonna, but I want you guys to kind of see what I'm talking about. Oh, that didn't make it any better, did it? Okay, let's turn, okay, that's better, right? So, yeah, once you press the, let me see, hold on. Eh, I pressed something, and uh, this little drop down menu popped up and it just says uh 26 it says citrus i can't pronounce it amaro flower oil has low risk and then there's 26 other in ingredients that has no risk and if you click on okay and if you click on that this little drop down arrow i am struggling i am so sorry guys here we go you, you drop you press here and it lists everything else and all of these items actually have no risk and the only thing that has a risk is this first one but as you can see i hope you can see it it says low risk so the ceo glow plus vitamin c turmeric face oil is a winner all right so we're gonna move on to this is the Fenty, it's Fenty Skin. Oh, it's the Butter Drop. That's what it is. Yeah. And yeah, I had already opened it. Sorry. I had already broke the packaging before I, I thought about making this video for you guys. So, but I'm going to take the UPC of it. And using the little app, I'm going to scan it. Boop. Okay, this actually says poor. Y'all see that? 39 out of 100. Okay, there it is. That actually says poor. That's my girl Riri Butter Skin. Um Phenozenethanol, moderate risk, benzoyl salicate, moderate risk, perfume 2, low risk, Lena, Lena Lou, low risk, and then there are 34 other ingredients that has no risk, okay? But that's rated 39 of, out of 100, and it says poor. Mm. So... That's what the butter drop looks like. I don't know if you guys have ever used it before. I have never used it. Um, I was pretty much in love with all Fenty stuff and just wanted to try it. Now that I open it and smell it, oh, I should. Oh, I don't have the UPC for it, but it smells like what is that stuff? Hold on, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what righteous butter. You guys seen this before? I love this stuff. I wonder, can I scan this? I'm going to scan this and see the toxicity level of this, okay? But it smells just like this. It smells just like righteous. 
it's this is stronger this is stronger but this is a light scented version or moderate scent because it's not light scent but this is heavier um <laughs> okay I ain't gonna say nothing against my girl Riri but based on I already love righteous butter and this smells like righteous butter I won't purchase this again and also based on that 39 out of 100 I won't purchase it again um probably had I not broken the package I probably would even take this back I wonder where they take it back with me have broken the package what y'all think <laughs> let me know down below what y'all think um oh I was gonna scan righteous butter let's see y'all all this stuff is probably just horrible for us horrible 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 okay now I'm gonna go back here we go Oh, righteous butter is zero. Look, zero out of a hundred. Bad. It's oh my god. I just love my righteous butter, but righteous butter is all the way bad. <sighs> Y'all, now I gotta find me a dang butter that's not. Poor, bad. I mean, can I find at least good? <clears throat> if y'all have some recommendations, leave it down below and let me know, okay? Because obviously your girl can't use her righteous butter. When I tell y'all I love it, every time I wear it, um, I get so many compliments. I like walk 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 past people and they be like, oh my God, what you got on? And for me, it always be a combination, but it be my body butter and then my perfume. And so... Anyway, oh my God, let's focus, girl, focus. So next I have, this is Paula Choice Niacinamide 20% Treatment. Uh, this is another Casey Aaliyah recommendation. This is a face serum. Niacinamide, if I am thinking correctly, is just good for evening your skin tone hyper uh, pigmentation and stuff like that so again uh, my skin is fairly 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 good but i want to keep it that way so treatment okay uh so i am going to scan the paula's choice paula choice oh my god paula choice is poor too <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that says poor y'all see that Lord, oh my God. Okay, so this I have not taken out of the box. So I can take this back. Oh, so you know what I just saw, guys? Oh my, see, I like this app. You just gotta pay attention. This, my daughter recommended it. This is my first time using it and I just decided to make a video about it. But at the bottom, it has recommendations. You see that? Okay, so I'm actually gonna screenshot this. And I am going to, and it has, oh, look, y'all. And so and then if you scroll over, it has more than one. I, can, I guess kind of based on what you're looking for. Okay. So I will let you guys know which one of these that um they recommend that I go with, okay? That's what I'm going to do. All right. So... Paula Choice need to go back too. Sure. That need to go back. I can't take Righteous Butter back because this is heavily used. I probably could take it back actually. Because um, I either purchased this. I think I probably purchased this from Ulta. But I purchased it a little while back. And I definitely don't have the packaging. So uh, I can't take it back. Um, This I haven't used I am thinking if I package it and just tape it, I can take this back. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, guys, like, we, we are exposed to so many, so many environmental toxins, toxins that, like, we don't need to be 
putting it on our skin. Our skin is the largest organ of our body, okay? If you don't believe me, Google it, look it up, skin. Just Google what's the largest organ of your body. I promise you it's your skin. And our skin is absorbent. So whatever we put on our skin is going to absorb. And we are unknowingly, you know, putting that stuff in, um, in our bodies. And nowadays, you know, we have all of this technology that will let us know what's good for us and what's not good for us okay so next i have the fenty cherry treat uh lip oil i was really 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 excited to do to try this so i'm gonna scan it now this says it's excellent so i can keep my lip oil thank you jesus <laughs> my lip oil is here to stay thank you um, next I have, I have two of these, so I'm only going to scan, well, I'll scan both, but this is the Fenty, this is her, um, velvet lipstick, and I have it in, what's that, MVP, and I have it in Breadwinner. Is that even right? <laughs> I have it in, uh, the, MB, the MVP in Breadwinner. I'm just going to go ahead and scan it. Come on, focus, baby, focus. Or maybe I didn't. Okay. This doesn't want to scan. Okay. Let me clean my lens. Maybe my lens is dirty. Okay. That don't want to scan. I might re reroute to it. Uh, then the next thing I have is the Necessary Body Serum. I think this was another Casey Aaliyah uh, recommend. I can't remember. I think it was a Casey Aaliyah recommendation, but this is not my first time using the body serum. I actually purchased like a little trial set and out of the, I think it was about three or four different items and out of everything, I really, really did like the body serum. So I purchased the Big Daddy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and scan it. I don't know, y'all. They don't want to scan now. Hold on. Okay. Oh, the body serum has a rating of 100 out of 100. So, good. <laughs> so, the body serum, it says the benefits of this. Hold on. The benefits of the body serum, hydrate, replenish, and recover. Treatment, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, ceramide, and pee, whatever that is. Texture is gel, scent, fragrance free. pH is 3.75 to 4.75. So, but necessary is 100. So, yay. All right. So, let's, now my next one. Yeah, my nose ring keep feeling like it's twisting but my next one i'm expecting it to have some toxic some toxic ingredients it's a perfume and i don't know of a perfume that doesn't that isn't made with some type of chemicals um if you guys know some let me know maybe when i scan it maybe it'll give me some recommendations if it's bad but this one this was a recommendation from gabe and babe y'all heard of them before so Gabe. Yes. It was a recommendation from Gabe. And this is Flower Nectar, Flower Balm Nectar Perfume. She did, and probably like a month or so ago, she did uh, an unboxing of like her favorite stuff. I think everything was her favorite stuff. And this right here, she said that she purchased over and over and over. She said she loved it. And I love perfumes. But I do like to keep like two to three scents that, that I just purchased over and over and, and over just like um, Gabe does. So what I have now that I purchase again and again, and I love it, it's Miss Dior. Have you guys ever used Miss Dior? I love this. This is my favorite fragrance. Again, when I wear this, I get so many compliments. It smells so scrumptious. And you only so when I it's when I wear this, 
because it is strong okay so i normally squirt it here rub it and then i dab it that's it and then it'll last all day no lie so miss dior is my favorite 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 and then i received a sample from ulta that i like this too i like it i would definitely repurchase it so like for me miss dior is kind of like date night ish for me, it's, it's, it's a sexy fragrance. So I don't wear this to work. You can wear it to work. I just don't wear it to work because like I said, it's a sexy fragrance. And it's like, yeah, so that's date night stuff, in my opinion. This one that I like, and it was um, it was free with purchase. This is Magnolia. Let me see. It's beautiful Magnolia. Hold on. I'll tell y'all the exact name. It said, yeah, it's beautiful Magnolia. Uh, I think this is by Estee Lauder uh, from Ulta, okay? So I haven't purchased it yet, but I am going to purchase it. In my opinion, what I would wear this for is, uh, it's an everyday perfume. I would wear this to work. It smells really nice. And this also lasts all day. I was so surprised that they gave me like this big of a bottle as a sample. Y'all know they normally give you like those little skinny little bottles, but they actually gave me this as a sample and I like it. So I am going to repurchase this as my go to work perfume. All right, so back to, um, this is by Victor Roth and this is flower balm nectar so what i am going to do is scan it again i am expecting this to say hey there's this is not good for you i'm expecting that already <laughs> i was expecting that 25 out of 100. i'm expecting the perfume perfume has chemicals in it what are we gonna do i uh, i think i read somewhere or someone was saying like don't put it on your skin so i guess that right now i do put my perfume on my skin but i guess that is a possibility what i could always do is whenever i find a fragrance that's not bad for a, a scented body butter put my body butter on my skin and then just spray my perfume on my clothes that's a good idea that's what i'm gonna start doing y'all let me see if i can get this um if I can get this to scan. Okay, there it is. Okay, so the velvet lipstick, it finally scanned and this is a 76 out of 100. So the velvet lipstick, these are good. Um, So that's my good, well, I think that's my good pile, but I guess I need to put perfume over here, right? <laughs> So that's my good pile. So according to the Yuka app, the velvet uh, lipsticks are good. The CEO uh, face oil is good. The Necessaire body serum is good. The Fenty lip oil is good. And what was bad is out the perfume. Let me take it out the box. Let me show you guys. <clears throat> What was bad is the perfume. Oh, look at that. The bottle is sexy. Hey, let me see what you smell like. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. That smells so good. Gabe is so right. This smells so good. Oh, my God. Give my Miss Dior a run for his money. Miss Dior to me is a sexy, fruity, floral scent. And this is a sexy, full body, intense, fruity floral. Oh, okay. I'm keeping my perfume, y'all. But what I will do, I will switch it up and I won't put this stuff on my skin anymore. I just lightly spread on my clothes uh but so we we know perfumes are bad we already knew that but my righteous butter was bad <clears throat> the fenty body butter was poor right it didn't say bad i think it said poor and then apollo choice nine cinnamide this came up as poor as well right poor or bad one of them but 
All right, guys, that's it for this video. You stuck around because I know it was kind of like it was it spurred a moment. I'm literally well, I'm dressed for work, and I know y'all might be saying, "Lord, why you got?" All right, guys, that the video cut off. I don't know why it cut off, but I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Hit the like button for me. Comment down below. Let me know any face choices, any serums, um, or any body butters that you can recommend. Although, on the app, I can find some stuff. If I find some stuff, I'll make another video and let you guys know what I chose to get, okay? Um, other than that, I gotta go. I gotta go to work. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you so much for watching. For supporting me. Um, with the videos in my personal life, you know, just thank you for your support. Thanks guys. Bye. Have a good day.